What's up? So right now, I feel like it's a little bright. Give me a second. Now a little better. Anywho, we are going to be trying out some new products, some Pixie products, some Alme products, some just really, really, really insanely affordable, I think amazing products. So yeah, this is an all drugstore first impression. I have like my base on, I have my powder and my concealer on, so yeah, I didn't want to like, I don't know, my skin has been doing a lot better, so I just don't want to like fudge up that routine. So yeah, we're going to be trying all new like face like color products, and we're having an eyeshadow palette. We're going to be doing some cool things though. So, let's get started. First things first, we have this little Alme powder blush. So I was actually couponing literally, I think it was, it was it yesterday or the day before, um, but I'll link the video, I think above, or you can just check it out on, you can just click on my little channel and you can see it. Um, but I just went couponing for this and this is super, super gorgeous. So this is the Alme Smart Shade Blush in 30 Coral. So I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush, go into the mainly like pigmented, like middle shades. Um, Cause this is more like a highlight, I'd say, like the top, top one. So yes. Ooh, it's picking up a nice amount of pigment. I'm gonna tap a little off just in case it's really, really pigmented. So I haven't obviously tried this because this is a first impression. That's actually pretty. It's giving me like a very light amount of blush. Oh wait, actually I do bronzer first. What am I even doing, Fiona? Um, anywho, let me just finish up the rest of this. Um, ooh, that's pretty. I think I'm actually gonna apply a little more after I do my bronzer because I always do bronzer first. Well, after I do my base face, you know, concealer and powder. So I'm gonna take my Frillian's Perfect Bronzer Brush. This is literally the perfect bronzer brush. It never fails my bronzers. So I'm gonna be taking this Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Bronzer in the shade Light Bronzer. So um, yeah, I was thinking like, you know, I should probably get medium, but then I was like, wait, Fiona, you know what? I don't want too tan of a shade because sometimes I feel like if it's too dark, it will look too like t intense and chalky and it's a little gross. So is it gonna come out? Is it gonna come out? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, Ah, there we go. Beautiful packaging. It's a little tacky, but it's kind of still pretty. It's actually not my favorite packaging, but it smells pretty good. Let's just like kind of swap. Ooh, it's like the butter bronzer. It's super, super velvety. Very like a sheer color. So let's just kind of take it on my brush. Ooh, that's a nice pigment. So I'm gonna tap a little off. I'm gonna go on the temples. Let me make sure there's no moisturizer left. Nope, okay, ready? Ooh, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Oh wow, that like, do you see that? That's like a transformation of tan, or no, white to tan. Ooh, that's pretty. Make sure you do not have any um, like tackiness on your like bronzing area. So like on the outer part of your face, usually you'd think not to set there, but make sure you do because otherwise it's gonna be kind of tacky and then the bronzer will apply kind of patchy. Um, I just wanted to let you know that. So if you haven't set your foundation or your concealer that you put on the outer perimeter, make sure you do that before you apply bronzer because otherwise it will be really patchy and sticky. So yes, a little tip, but this is looking really nice and bronzy. It's looking pretty natural, um, a little not natural. I wish it was a tiny bit lighter, um, but still super, super, super pretty. Um, but I'm so far liking it. I feel like it's a tiny bit patchy on my forehead, just a little. Yeah, you've seen that? But overall, not too bad. It's not my favorite bronzer I've ever tried, but not, not too bad. Yeah, I just, I feel like it's definitely a little patchy on the forehead. I definitely will have to say that. Don't you agree? A little. I'm gonna actually apply a little more of the Alme blush because I didn't, I don't know what I was doing. I was going out of order, but now I like it. I feel like this is actually really, really pretty. It's subtle, but pigmented, and I feel like it's nice and buildable, and um, it's not going on patchy, which I do really like, because I actually tried one like yesterday. Oh my gosh, my face just looks so bad because just patchy blush and bronzer. So yes, into this. I actually didn't get a new highlight, I'm sorry, um, but I'm gonna use my Essence Pure Nude Highlight. It's very similar to almost every high-end highlight. It's really nice. It's subtle, but pretty and kind of glowy. Just kind of. Not too much, though. But now, because I feel like the world-famous Anastasia Brow Wiz is pretty expensive. It's $21, so I wanted to try a $2 brow pencil. This is from e.l.f. This is their new brow pencil, so there's a spoolie like normal, and then there's a little tip. Um, it's actually not too bad, it's pretty small. I feel like it might, I don't know, it might be kind of bad, it might be really good, we'll see, but I got the shade. There's only, I think there's only actually one shade, which kind of sucks, but it's in neutral brown. 
So I'm just going to brush my eyebrow hairs up with this spoolie. Let me know if you want me to do like a natural eyebrow routine and then like an intense one. So like three eyebrow looks in one. <laughs> three eyebrow looks, that sounds funny. So then you can like pick out which one suits you, but I'm just gonna go in with this. Um, but let me know in the comments. Ooh, that's nice. I actually, I think that's pretty. Then I have another e.l.f. product, but I also have another brow product. They're both clear brow gel. So this is the Aspen Ovard collaboration with Pixie. I got this at Target. Um, it's a pretty good deal. I believe this was $14 for the lower lash mascara and the clear brow gel. I think I'm going to go in with the clear brow gel on one eyebrow and then the e.l.f. clear mascara and brow gel on well, the other eyebrow. I'll, I'll keep you posted. So on my right, your left eyebrow, I'm gonna use the Pixie Eyebrow Gel. Let's see how this goes. I like a lot of hold and separate, ooh. I don't know if I like that. I feel like it just like completely crumbled. Do you see how that, my, my eyebrow looks all uneven? Don't know if I'm liking this, ugh. Look at that, it created a huge patch. Oh my gosh, no. Low weird, but not too bad. Uh, then I'm gonna go in with the little clear brow gel from an e.l.f. So, thumbs up for e.l.f. I'll have to say, I really like this one. Not so much on Pixie. Then I'm gonna go in with a eyeshadow palette from Pixie. This is their Copper Peach Palette. Um, hmm, it looks pretty interesting. I believe this was $16. So Pixie is like slightly up there in price, but still I feel like you're getting more high quality natural-ish products. I'm gonna take my Morphe M412 brush. It's a pretty basic brush, um, but it works well with most of my eyeshadows. So I'm gonna take the dark brown shimmer at the top and then this like lighter brown shimmer. Um, there's actually no matte color in here. Oh no, actually this one and this one are matte, but not too matte, but that's okay. Not too bad, it's actually pretty. It's not the most pigmented eyeshadow palette, then I'm gonna go in, I'm a little nervous because we're going to a workout class today and I'm sure this is gonna smudge, but hopefully it won't, that's the true test. So this is the Volume Express The Falsies Mascara. Let's do it. Ooh, it's a fluffy brush. I'm sure this is gonna clump, my guess. That's like the difference. Like a fluffy brush, if you want more clumpy lashes, go for a fluffy brush. If you want like individual lashes, go for more of like a rubber brush. So, just a little tip, but we'll see. Maybe it won't clump. I'm gonna wipe off some of the product because I'm a tiny bit worried it's gonna clump too much. I love their Great Lash mascaras, but this mascara is kind of failing me. That's really not doing a lot. It's just clumping my lashes. Yeah, this mascara is like really not doing a whole lot. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go in with the Pixie Lower Lash Mascara on my top lashes because I feel like um, it could be really nice to individualize everything. Because if you can see the wand, can you see the wand? You can't see the wand, right? It's so tiny, I love that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go in with it. Ooh, I'm gonna go in with my Guerlain mascara. I'm sorry I cheated, but it pretty much always fixes everything. There we go. This mascara from Guerlain is pretty awesome. Sorry I had to cheat. I just, it wasn't working too well. Um, then I have a Pixie Little Lip Balm tint. Um, let's try it. I'm just gonna kind of take a little and just like rub it into my lips. So the makeup, you know what? I'm not really into really anything that I discovered. I'll have to say there's three products that I do like. The Alme Smart Shade Blush, really, really like this. And then the two e.l.f. eyebrow products, so I really enjoy those. But everything else, the bronzer I feel like looks a little patchy. It looks nice on the cheeks, but that on the temples, that's a really big test. If it looks bad on the temples, it's most likely gonna break apart throughout the day, so dang it. Yeah. The Pixie Clear Brow Gel and the mascara are okay. The Pixie Lip product, not a big fan of. I think I just got the wrong color. The Falsies Mascara, I'll try again, but most likely I think I'll re be returning this one. If I put a little extra glow on, maybe it will cover up the patchiness. But yeah, thank you so, so, so much for watching this video. It honestly means so much. I hope we now know some products that we shouldn't probably buy. Maybe they'll work for you, but they just didn't work for me. But thank you so much for watching and bye. Ah, I just whipped myself. Whoa. <laughs>